Greetings. Welcome to the Kingdom Culture Center. I just want to tell you that, um, and I'm not a prophet when I say this. I just see the signs of the time. Uh, these are the last days. Um, don't fool yourself. They are. Um, and God's time is not like our time. Um, when he uh, spoke of the great tribulations, um, speaking of the Lord Jesus, when he spoke of the great tribulations, he made it very well known what would take place. And this would take place over a span of decades, probably centuries. Uh, like I said, his time is not like our time. And he says the kingdom of the, the gospel of the kingdom would be preached to the ends of the earth, to the ends of the earth. So by that, here's what I'm saying. Jesus came on the scene preaching the kingdom gospel. And it's been decades, centuries now. And guess what? I'm teaching the kingdom gospel. Prior to that, you know, um, a few others have been teaching the kingdom. One of the, those, uh, Dr. Miles Monroe. But you have to stay on path. The kingdom gospel is very important for the world because it's the eternal word. It's the word that changes your life and convicts you and gives you to embrace the king and the kingdom. You know, um, let us turn to Matthew, the 24th chapter. And um, and we read the third verse, starting with the third verse of the 24th chapter of Matthew. Okay? As I read, and now as he said on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Now, probably like many of us, when he spoke of that, we were looking for maybe a few years from now or, you know, from that point on. But God's time, I want to emphasize and I repeat, is not our time. He doesn't live in time. We live in time. We have only a certain time that we live. And that time is calculated within that period of time how long we will live. Need I to say, I want to read on. And Jesus answered and said to them, take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. In other words, the word Christ means anointed one. He goes on to say, meaning he says in also that many will be deceived through that. He goes on to say, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're, you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise up against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there will be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in various places. I want you to understand this one point. He says, Nations shall rise up against a nation. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Nothing about religious or religion. It's very important. And I want to, I want to, I'm going to drive this home for the next few sessions. Religion is something that divides the people, divides families. But when you're in the kingdom and you have the kingdom mindset, and let me tell you something, 
you realize there's only one individual that you give allegiance to, and that's King Jesus. No one else counts. No one else matters. You stick to his word. Let us go on. He says, for nations shall rise up against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms, and all there will be, and there will be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in various places. We have had that, and it's going to continue. Follow me here. All these are the beginning of sorrow, is just the beginning. Just the beginning. We've heard so many down through the years, Biafra, Africa, all over, people dying, starving. But he said, he goes on, and I'm, I'm going to get to the most vital, vital point. So don't pay attention to people so he's going to come in here and he's going to come in this date. No, that's garbage. Listen. Then they will deliver you to tribulations and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Some of these things have yet to come. We go on. And then many will be offered, offended. And trust me, the kingdom message is offending a lot of religious folk today. In fact, Jesus had more problems. His bulk of his problems was not with atheists or the Roman Empire. It was with religious folk, religion. Today, it would be Baptist, Methodist, people who just want to stick to their religion, and they think that's going to save them. And many of these, quote, unquote, religions and denominations have kingdom principles, but they don't apply it in the correct manner. Let us go on. Then many false prophets will arise and deceive many. That's happening now. It's a span. We're talking centuries now. We're talking centuries. Remember, remember, God's time is not our time. It's frame time. Time and frame is not for is not ours. We go on. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel, listen now. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nation. Then the end will come. So what are we talking? See, many of us, even myself, when I had a religious mindset, I thought, you know, it's going to be it's really the way a lot of these quote unquote Religious people announced it's going to happen. It's supposed to happen in 82, supposed to happen in, in 49, all this. No. Here's the clicker. Jesus said, not even the angels. I don't know. The angels don't know. When the end will come, only my father. So if you've been listening to all these jack legs, all these religious people talking about it's going to come in, give me a break. You know, I, I, I have to be candid with you. You have to embrace the kingdom message. You have to trust him and live by faith in his word. Not a bunch of these religious people who've been to seminaries and cemeteries and all that other stuff. Pardon my friend, not to make fun of it, but it's a hindrance. It's a hindrance to the kingdom message. And listen. He said, this gospel of the kingdom, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached into all the world. Then the end will come. It hasn't been preached into all the world. But if you notice, we're preaching and we're teaching the kingdom message now. Above all these religions who are preaching religion and, and prosperity, no, we're teaching the kingdom message. That's important. And it's consistent. I don't have a new message for you. 
I have the same message that Jesus gave, the kingdom message. It's a priority. Until next time, I want you to embrace the kingdom word, embrace the kingdom message, embrace the king. Remember what I always said, your faith in the king is your greatest commodity. Until next time.